What is it about this little boy that the New South Wales Department of Family and Community Services have found that they need to work so diligently to cover this up? Alana Smith single-handedly fronted a New South Wales Supreme Court in a battle to reveal that William Tyrrell was in foster care when he disappeared. She spoke of there being no crime in promoting the truth and asked that there be a wider platform of transparency for foster children in Australia. There was a group of people who took issue with the fact that we were not able to publicly say that he was in the care of the department at the time he went missing and that he was a foster child. So this group of people who didn't actually know William, uh, they just took it upon themselves to, to challenge this um, as um, what they call advocates. They took this to the Supreme Court to have the restrictions overturned for this case specifically. Him. We need to find this little boy, but to do that you need an effort that is that we can all get behind and not feel somehow that there is secrecy or miscalculations or mistakes, also that we're somehow not welcome in the inquiry, that it's got nothing to do with us, when in fact we know that when you take a child into state care, it's incumbent on all of us to ensure that they are safe. Little William didn't have a voice because these bureaucrats behind the scenes, these legal guardians inside family services, wanted it all shut down. That's quite right. And there was a lot of um, debate behind the scenes about how imperative it was. The most important thing was to make sure that the public did not find out that he was a foster child. But Michael, what should it matter? I mean, surely the most important thing is to find him. That's what we need to do. We need to find out what happened to him. Uh, but the judge decided it was in the public interest and so those restrictions were lifted. And then a trip to the foster grandmother's house and he disappears and this happens. Mm -hmm. um, there's just heartbreak on heartbreak in all of that story. Mm -hmm. This is like this tiny little three years. And the biological family have, have said that they feel like they lost him twice mm -hmm. because and also that sense of being unable to be involved in the search because when he went missing the second time, like any parents, they wanted to go up there and help, but of course they're not allowed. It's not just us, it's William's family. Mm. They've had to suffer the most awful of the indignities of having their history pushed across international media. I mean, that's disgusting. Mm. And that was at the hands of one person who's a part of this core group who have absolutely harassed us. Mm. And it's disgusting. And it's disgraceful. And it shouldn't have been allowed to happen. Yeah. It shouldn't have been allowed to happen. Despite the judge's comments, the department appealed the Supreme Court's decision to three judges of the Court of Appeal. Again, they lost. Australian voters hear day in, day out how the legal system fails us. You would think that four Supreme Judges making a decision on the welfare of the best interest of the child would make us all extremely happy that somebody gets it. For once, somebody got it.